Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is going to be a tutorial about how to apply several fusion nodes to multiple clips. So for example, here I've got this node, which basically makes this little box, which makes the corner bigger so that we can see the frame rate counter. So without this, it's really small, but however, if I use the transform in the rectangle, I've made this bigger. And basically what I want to do is to apply this to multiple clips. So I have the frame rate counter here on multiple videos, for example, this one here, it's small. And then here I've applied that fusion node. So basically what I want to do is to apply these to all of the videos in this list. So I'm going to show you a shortcut on how to do that. So the simple way to do it is just go into the fusion area here and select all of the nodes and then right click and copy. And then you put your playhead over a video here, go into fusion and then delete the nodes by selecting them and then pressing the backspace button. And then we can go ahead and paste them in here. So you can right click and paste them here or control V. And then we've pasted them. You can't see anything, but if we flick back to fusion here, then basically if we basically, and then basically that clip now has the big frame rate rectangle transform. So what I'm going to do now is show you the method on how to do it for multiple clips so that you don't have to do them individually like that and waste a whole lot of time. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So basically what we need to do is go into Fusion and then we need to enable the Clips tab here. So this allows us to see multiple clips. And uh, let's say we have the next clip here. So that's the next clip uh, chronological on this. Doesn't matter if there's a big gap between them. And uh, basically we want to have this rectangle transform applied to this clip. What you do is you select the clip that you want. So you select the destination first and then you right click on the source. And what you do is you click apply composition. And it says here, are you sure you want to overwrite? Press overwrite. And what that's done is that it's now brought the nodes that from this clip here onto this new clip here. So now, for example, here, my Subnautica clip now has that transform, even though we don't have a frame rate count here, that's fine. I will tweak that later. And then here as well, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go back into Fusion. I'm going to select my destination clip, and then I'm going to control click on my source clip and then click Apply Composition. And then that's brought that transform rectangle onto this clip. So if I look to here again, it's made my frame rate counter bigger here. So that's how you do it for individual clips. Let's say we want to do it for all the other clips in this list. So let's say I want to do multiple. I'm going to highlight the first clip in the list and then highlight the end of my sequence. So I've got four of these here. And uh, what I want to do is the same process. I find the clip with the nodes that I want right click or control click and then click apply composition. Here we press overwrite. And now if we look at all four individual clips, they all now have the same frame rate counter on the top right hand side bigger. And uh, that's all worked out just fine. So in theory, you could easily do all of them just by going to the nodes and then selecting all of the clips. And then you'll be able to apply the nodes to all those clips. So now I hope you found this DaVinci Resolve tutorial useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.